The carpet seller had an impressive collection of wares. If I had the time and the money, I might have bought a couple of rugs. Wait a minute. That's familiar. Muruba! Hello, sir! Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah! Give to me! Give to me! A la mut! Oh, he's being shifty. A magician. No. A secret hideout. Many beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes? Yes. Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. No. I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shag. I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. <laughs> I can see where this is going. I am Ultar, taxi driver and luxury guide per excellence. Yes. This I had to hear. Where right, does your, your heart desire to go? Simply mention the name to your obedient servant and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well, I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to know. He's good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ultar. Thanks. Okay. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. He's eager to please him, isn't he? Hi. Nice club you've got here. I was wondering if you could help me. What? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. <laughs> no surprise there, all righty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? Oh. What happened? It was bet. Uh, and he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. He lost his tongue. I hadn't felt a need to spit since I was 12. Okay. Even if I'd wanted to spit, my mouth was too dry. Damn, the door's locked. Uh, I'm sorry? Did, did you say something? He say you not to go in toilet. Read sign, matey. Matey? It lose something in translation. I don't think he said that. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand okay. a word of it. So what does it say then? Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. This place is certainly hard to find. Oh yes, it is most exclusive. The membership can be no more than... Hmm. Kind sir, what would you guess the population of the village to be? Gee, I don't know, a couple of thousand? Then I would estimate the membership to be no more than a couple of thousand. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. What do you make of that boy in the market, Najo? Najo? Ha! Ayub's boy is too big for sandals. I speak splendid English and he laugh. He say, Ultar, you big ox, you split infinitive. I say, I split your head if you stay still long enough. <laughs> Very funny. Pretty funny, yes? Hilarious. You should be on cable. Fair enough. What do you know about the kebab seller? A most miserable man. Ultar say, cheer up, matey mate. It might never happen. And he say, shut up, Ultar. Fancy that. Not at Straight all. Straight to the point. Arto has face like the drizzle that falls on the midweek afternoon. Whatever that is. Very descriptive. Have you met the American couple? Have Ultar met them? Have Ultar met them? Yes, Ultar have met them. And? They most ungenerous. Ultar offer to show them wonders of countryside. They say, is there anything ancient? Ultar say, yes, of course. Nature is ancient. They yeah, say, no, ancient. anything ancient made by men. And Ultar say, have you seen taxi? Fan belt older than Ozymandias. <laughs> but they gone. Fair Can enough. you tell me what that sign means? 
It's a uh, door stay shut until Brush come back. Signed, the management. Oh, well, what does that mean? Manager buy lovely new toilet brush, leaves it by wash basin for ten minutes, come back, it been stealing. Stolen. Not even out of wrapper. He damn cross. Stolen toilet, toilet brush. Say, Nobody use fine pristine toilet until brush given back. We say, what we do till then, eh? He say, cross legs and use superior willpower. And that's what you've been doing? No. Ultar use bucket. Fair enough. Do you know anything about the Templars? Welcome of back. Course. Yes? What can you tell me? Great Shebop band of the 60s. Uh, no, n that's not really... I'm going to say Templars. In the bop, 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 bop. Yeah, eternal questions. Okay. Have you seen this man before? Oh, most certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My God, he's close. Yes, he was asking a lot of questions, just like you. Mm. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stoby. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. Oh. What else did he ask about? He asked about German man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Ultar said. Klausner. Not I sure that's what you said the first the time. Picture. Klausner wanted to go up to Bull's Head. Hold on, he wanted to go where? Bull's Head. Big hill, ten mile out of town. Maybe 60. When was Ten that? or 60. Oh, maybe That's quite a big ago. jump. What can you tell me about this Bull's Head Hill? It's most magnificent, lovely views. Worth visiting, yes, by indeedity. How do I get there? No. Let me guess. You need yep. fine luxury guy to take you there in air-conditioned taxi. Woe is me. Where can I find such a guide? And Ultar is most luxurious guide for most literally some way in any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. <laughs> Gee Are you desirous of my pleasant and luxuriant service? <coughs> uh, yes. All right, let's go. First, I regret. The formalities. A trip to the bull's head. Fifty Yankee dollars, please. Fifty bucks? I don't have fifty bucks. Oh, most unhappy event. Ultar then sorry, but he cannot take you on ride of life. That was quite a big jump Hold of on, the money. Ultar. Is there nothing I could barter with you? Word that it was so, beloved friend. But my taxi needs gas, and its muffler needs the muffler doctor. Trading for these things is not possible. My heart weeps for the injustice, but it's bucks or zip, or unfortunate American. Hmm. Well, I still don't have any cash on me, American or otherwise. Oh, unfortunate, most extreme. The delights of the Bull's Head Hill then must wait, I fear. See you around, Omar. May good fortune follow you, mister. Right, let's go and have a look. Oh, I've just seen something. Suddenly, I realized the horrific truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. Okay, well that answers the toilet brush. What about this? Fair enough. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Is that your father lurking in the back of the stand? He is indeed a roaring fellow. Ayup's his name. You don't sound like you respect him very much. Don't I? Not only do I respect him, I rather like him. That's With handy. all his bluster, we get on very well. Okay. What's the guy selling the kebabs? Oh, that's Arto. A miserable blighter to be sure, sir. He doesn't seem very happy. He never is. 
day in, day out, a face like a wet Wednesday. Wet Whatever Wednesday. Whatever one of those is. Does he speak any English? Not cogently, no. Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you instead. <laughs> dirty Mito, postcards. This is serious. Arto stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am a merchant and merchants trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh, what would you like? I seem to recall that you have something that might alleviate my boredom. A globe of delight, a Rubicon spheroid of heavenly pleasure. That's a lot for a bowl. Don't you? A tiny spherule of form that barely spans my hand, yet promises hours of amusement. If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? Sure. All right, here you go. Thank you, sir. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind that now. Remember the brush? Right. Yep, yes, we need the brush. brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. Il ach il kalb. Il ach il kalb. Close enough. Now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his delicate ear. <coughs> he won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. I'm suspicious. I met an interesting guy earlier, a cab driver. Ah, that would have to be Utar, a barbaric sort of chap. Oh, he's Why? not that bad. You know how he speaks in Pidgin English? That's how he speaks in Arabic, too. What do you know about that couple? Oh, they're American. Is that all? The chap's a little odd. As for the lady, it's a funny thing. But I get the impression she's a lot cleverer than she's letting on. Hmm. That's not a very friendly cat you got there, Nijo. No, sir. It is a very unfriendly cat. Why do you keep it? Oh, it's not mine. It just rests where it pleases. And today, it pleases to rest there. As Kipling would say, it is a cat that walks by itself. Fiercely independent. And it smells. Fair enough. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Okay. As I didn't see the point of going all the way over there to get scratched, I stayed where I was. Okay. Let's go and get a toilet brush. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yes. Um, il akul kalb? Filthy, bad, bad. Oh, I don't like that. Kill you. Whoa, calm down. I just feet. Do your thing. I. <laughs> okay. Right, did you get a toilet rush? What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, 
While you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you oh. telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. Handy. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justified the means, sir. Yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. That's not a very friendly cat you got there, Nijo. No, sir. It is a very unfriendly cat. Why do you keep it? Oh, as keep fiercely independent. And it smells. Okay. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Right, let's go and deliver the toilet brush back. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation. When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak, period. So just give him the toilet brush. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. Oh. The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, bah. Look at state of this. Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my you bend. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know? <laughs> oh, yes, Body language. Really. Now I've got a key. I knew the door was locked. I'd need the key to get in there. I have the key. Can you not just use it by yourself? Oh, okay. It's a very low down toilet. Oops. Oops. I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Hmm. Okay. That was interesting. Right, I think we'll go down here. Push the button. Right. Now I remember what we did this. We just wrapped that. Grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you had anything from the kebab stand? Hey, heavens no, with my digestion. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? No. No, I haven't. Is it nearby? I'm not Apparently. sure. Sounds awful Anywhere between romantic. 10 and 60 miles. The Bull's Head Hill. Do you know what il akal kalb means? My, sounds romantic. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. Have you met the taxi man, Ultar? Heavens, yes. What a big man. 
very muscular. But you didn't go for a ride. Why, George, you're absolutely the most. <laughs> oh, you mean a taxi ride? I think no, she was talking about something Wayne else there. wasn't interested, so it didn't happen. What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, my, that's just what I've been looking for. Would you like it? Would I ever? I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. The hey. merchant was selling fruit. No, we're trying to talk to him. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on us. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? I must remember that. Sounds scenic. Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's Revenge. Montezuma's Revenge? What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it. Or leave it. Well, that's convenient. I'll take it. That's here the you go. fifth I need. And here you go. Where have you done? Thanks for the money, Dwayne. This will come in real handy. You done for a dragon I ought again? I'll be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Right. That's now three and a half hours nearly. I think that'll do us for tonight. Gives us a quite a big chunk of it done. And we continue in a couple of nights, maybe. No. Monty Sun's thingy. Monty Sun's thingy. I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's getting pretty late uh, and I need to get to bed. Yeah, can you tell? So everything's starting to not make sense anymore. Um, I'll play in the morning night but we don't know what we're playing yet um, so we'll keep an eye out and I'll give you a message. Um, thanks for popping into stream though, I really appreciate it. Thanks for talking in chat. Oh, then that's what she had. Right, okay, I'm with you now. I'm with you now. Um, yeah, so thanks for talk talking in stream. Thanks for coming and following. Um, I do really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later on. Bye bye.